Charlotte's story has ended. Charlotte's story has begun. A prologue, an epilogue, an end, a beginning. All ended well. There was nothing to be sad about. Hello everybody, Watch you here, and welcome to Hello Charlotte Episode 3. Man, I love this series. God, the first two were so fun, and now the third one's come out. Evidently, this is the last one. After this, there will, uh, there will be no more of the main story having to deal with Charlotte. I, for one, am excited to be able to uh, revisit our friend Charlotte and take on our persona as Seth Puppeteer, and maybe we'll be able to see Felix and a couple Magcats. Hopefully, we don't have to deal too much with the Oracle's bullshit, but you know what? There's no way we're going to know until we begin. So, uh, I, for one, say let's just start. Come, gather, both the young and the old. Come, enjoy the show. A show of lies and gods. Of twists and turns and imperfection. Of sterile whiteness and ink-black vomit. Blending into splendid gray. Of paranoia and psychosis. and the brilliance of a human mind. Welcome back, dear puppeteer. Long time no see. What are you here for, I wonder? The truth? Entertainment? Romance? Ha ha ha. Oh, don't tell me you're here because of our contract. If that is true, I will do anything in my power to help you save the child. In fact, I've already made my preparations for the journey. All you need to do is to see it through from the beginning to the very end. Don't forget to save your puppet's data. And then I hope you'll enjoy the show. In the beginning, there was a voice. A voice I knew belonged to Mother. Be a good girl, okay? It said. Then, suddenly I knew what to do next. It's nice to meet you, I said. Please take care of me. Who was I meeting? Who was going to take care of me? Just who was I saying this to? I didn't know. I had no way of knowing. What was my purpose? Why was my head filled with memories of people I didn't know? Just what was I supposed to be? Be a good girl, okay? The voice repeated. A good girl. Is that what I was? You don't have to be, another voice interrupted. That moment I knew. Before me stood the god of this world. I'm so happy to see Charlotte again. Oh, God. That dream again. What a way to start a new day. Oh, well. I should greet everyone before going to school. All right. Oh, it's so fun to be here again. Oh, wow. What have we got on us? We're Charlotte, just like we always are. And we got ourselves a manual? Nobody cares. And a coin. The local currency. I've got ten of them. I got ten coin. All right, fine. Aha, uh -huh. very interesting, thank you. Oh, we have stats this time. Charlotte Wiltshire, I'm a unit, I guess. I'm kind of strong, I'm very intelligent. I don't got a lot of luck though. Strength, high analytical ability. Weaknesses, weak stamina. Okay, well, we got a camera around there, that's probably not good. 
Inside the drawer is a stack of white society pamphlets ready for distribution. Stay white with us, read the front page. What? I don't get it. Why is there... Saving already! Why is there already a... People staring at us? Don't do that. Um, welcome to. I have no idea. Well, aren't you broken? That reminds me. If you put dead animals into this Omnicube, they start moving again. Okay, well, I'm gonna remember that if I ever come across a dead animal, that I want to no longer be dead to bring it here. The current user has restricted access to the data module. Okay. Logged in successfully. No data available. Well, shit. <laughs> I accidentally cleared all the data the other day. Oops. Charlotte, why would you do that? What a silly thing to do. The current user has restricted access to the majority of the areas on the first floor and the second floor. Um, I don't really need to use it anyway. The elevators like me. Huh. Um, maybe we should, like, say something to the glass. Hello, glass. Stop looking at me. I'm perfectly white today, too. Good job. All the clothes inside are white. They're neatly folded. There are a few books on the shelf. 1984, The Castle Fahrenheit 451. I haven't read most of these books anyway. But when I mention these titles, people think I'm smart. <laughs> They're happy about appearing smart. I, too, also like to say books and then appear smart. But I've read a lot of the books that I claim. Oh. Wait a minute. This looks slightly different than I remember. And it looks like there's blood underneath this door. We'll come back to that. TV room. I don't want to go into the blood room yet. Something tells me that going into a blood room might not be a great idea for the first thing to do in a game. The camera is working properly. Okie dokie. There's only white noise on the TV. Some of the tenants enjoy watching channels like these. Dr. Huxley says they have calming properties. Very interesting. A reporter is happily reading the news in a loop. Uh-huh. Okay. That was very weird. I don't think that I would like that. I guess that's the only thing that's on television. That's too bad. Why do we have four televisions? Five, six. Why do we have six? What? What? That's a lot. A modern take on All My Friends Are Dead is airing all day. Why are the two weirdos that were normally watching this? They were in like a radioactive suit and whatnot. They're like my favorite characters in this. Library. Hmm, seems to be the same old library to me. All the books have blank pages. Each bookshelf is a carbon copy of the one next to it. If a book is colored differently from the others, it must be important. Oh, it's the same as the others. All the books are here are for show. All right. A copy of the White Society pamphlet is lying on the table. White Society? This one's doing better than the rest. Why is everyone wearing white? I mean, I get that we have white hair, white clothes, white skin, white background, white everything, white in, even the white in the surrounding area. Is white blank? Is that kind of a symbol that's going to be emerging here? The plants seem to be doing well. Oh no, what about you, little guy? This one's wilting. Let's throw it away soon. Charlotte, that's not what you would normally say. You would try to fix it. Give it a little water or something. The bathtub is covered in vomit. Is it your vomit? I look pretty today. A toilet. There's a handprint on the cabinet door. Seems like Charlotte maybe isn't acting the way that I remember. Is this what Charlotte is like before the 
being controlled by a puppeteer or something? Kitchen? There's also nobody in here. The food in the fridge is symmetrically arranged. And I should keep it that way. Huh. Does that mean that if there was like two pieces of ham on either side, you would have to take an equal sized bite out of each piece of ham? I don't know if I would like that or not like that. It'd be kind of appealing to always open the fridge and see exactly the same thing. An oven. A sink? The knife lies forgotten on the table. There's a variety of tea plants on the shelves above. We don't get to talk to that one. The camera also is working properly. Very good. Where's my mama? Nothing of interest inside. Mm hmm Oh. Huh. I don't think I said hello to everyone just yet. Oh yeah, I forget. I think I remember that from last time, that that's the, actually the front door. Well, let's go ahead and visit our friends. Oh, nice. Yeah, these are. this is exactly how I remember this area. Not. Where could this door lead to? Huh. I can't go there when Huxley's around. Oh, Huxley, I remember him now. Hi, Dr. Huxley. Hey, Dr. Huxley. Dr. Henry. Ah, oh, gods! It's you, Miss Wiltshire. And as you can see, I am busy. I know, I just wanted to say hi. Ah, sure, sure. Hello, good morning, how are you? The weather's sure fine today. With that done, I'll be returning to work. That's how I feel a lot of the time. Let's get these pleasantries out of the way and get to work. Although, I'll, I mean, I maybe would have liked to entertain it a little while longer. Here, have a pack of gummy ears and go make yourself useful to society. What, I get gummy ears? Acquired gummy ears. Yeah, whatever. To think of it, I've never seen the faces of the corpse you're performing the experiments on. Why is that, I wonder? Dr. Huxley ignores me. Well, thanks for the input. Bye, Dr. Huxley. Charlotte is acting way different than I remember. And what are these gummy ears? Ear-shaped candies that taste like serum. We don't get to interact with them. All right. I'm trying to, this is, it said episode zero, so this has to be before in time. We also look a little younger and I didn't hear anything about the Oracle, so. I mean, that was probably obvious, but I'm just, uh, just crossing the T's and dotting the I's here. So this is in the past, maybe really early on, before everyone got here, is that it? The dried blood stains are etched deeply into the wall. Is that cake? Why is there cake in Dr. Huxley's experimentation room? Is he like, he holds it in front of the corpses or whatever? Be like, mm, don't you wish you were alive and you could have some cake? A cake with perfectly shaped red strawberry on top. Truly terrifying, I'll say. The scissors have remnants of organic tissue on them. There are some skewers and a small roll of duct tape inside the bin. The mirror is so dirty that I can't really see my own reflection in it. Very interesting. Take this with you. A dirty chainsaw lies abandoned on the floor. It's probably Bennett's. Bennett would not care if you borrowed it, trust me. Just take it with you. You never know when a chainsaw could be very useful. Of course you're gonna leave it there. I guess it maybe would be a little suspicious walking through town with a bloody chainsaw. A hideous smell is coming from the body banks. The door is locked. Well, that's too bad. Why are there... I just don't... Get out of the way. I just noticed that there are spikes sticking out of this one. Oh, sorry. These large needles are said to be poisonous. This is maybe a not safe place for a child. I poke the thing beneath the blanket. It's squishy. An artificial plant. Its leaves are made of plastic. No smell is coming from the corpse beneath the white sheets. It must be fresh. The sheets are covered in snot. Huxley's been sick for a while. Uh-oh. 
Maybe it's because he eats nothing but cake. Can you see anything else in here? I don't think I do. Let's move on. Let's try the other door. Oh my. We might be able to gauge Felix's age too here. On the Freedom of Will, New Philosopher, Volume 4. Same thing. Mm -hmm. A pillow and blanket are neatly folded on the top of the mattress. What, he takes off the sheets and then folds them and sets them? So Is that just making the bed? Maybe he has use for the bed other than of it being a bed. Civilized man. Oh, Civilized Man's Eight Deadly Sins by K.O. Lullaby by C.P. There's a research paper on the desktop. I take a peek at it. Ice Nine. A substance that crystallizes liquid matter upon coming into contact with it. Consequences of use may be hazardous. Barring! The wall is covered in post-it notes and research papers. Morning, Felix. Ah. Uh, my morning. Been busy? Well, as usual. I've prepared the thing you asked me to, here. Acquired a happy bottle. So fast! You really are good at this. Right? This calls for a reward. Why would I flick his sore forehead? Pet him. Pet the... Pet him. Do it. Don't do... Do it in the right way, though. Do it as if they did a good job. Not in some sort of weird sexual way. Felix winces upon touch, backing away. Something wrong? No. Forget it. Weirdo! I was just going to pat you, didn't I? I feel something smack my head. It's a gloved hand. Morning. Human maggot. Having fun? Yay, it's good to see him again. He was my favorite one. Yep. Bennett ruffles my hair with force. Mr. Honecker here. Doesn't look like he's having fun, though. Ha ha ha. Or is it that he's just constantly bitter? Who can tell? I'm standing right here, you know. I know, I know. So, what are you guys up to? I just came for the bottle I asked Felix to prepare for me. Oh, what's inside? A secret cookie ingredient. Eh? <laughs> tell me, tell me now! Ask Felix, I should be going. Jeez, so mean. Very interesting. So maybe this isn't in the past. And maybe that was obvious at the beginning. I'm sorry. Doesn't want to talk anymore. Lot is a meanie. Huh. Oh. A secret collection of forensic cases on aggression. Childhood's end. Hm. The next room is locked. No entry allowed, says the sign. Fine. I didn't want to go in there anyway. Uh, elevator? Oh, well, that's too bad. Especially for you, Wilchar. Hey, don't be mean. Jeez, they're still so stuck up about that one incident. Why not? Well, I didn't want to use the elevator any anyway. Anyway, anyway. Can I actually... Wait, hold on. Am I allowed to leave yet? Or is there more people? Alright. I figured there would be more because I didn't go through the bloody door yet. Or this one, I think. Wow, the boiler room actually looks like a boiler room this time. The boiler provides us with hot water. Lots of tubes and wires. Boiler rooms are quite popular in horror games, aren't they? We have one, too. Breaking the fourth wall. Are they popular in horror games? I think it's just because they sound creepy. Aiden's room. Okay. Now I'm coming in. Oh, well, 
Aiden, I thought you made dresses. These don't appear to be dresses. Oh my god. Most of these dolls look like me. They look nothing like you, I disagree. This one kind of resembles me. Charlotte, if you say this doll resembles you, I'm a little concerned. Oh. Some of the dolls have hair stuffed into their heads. This one's smiling properly. Everything here is in perfect symmetry. Every doll has a copy of the other side of the... Oh, on the other side of the room. Oh. So it is. Morning, Aiden. Wow, oh, you're actually an animal this time. <laughs> These dolls are so pretty. Where do you get the materials from, I wonder? Not telling, huh? Well then, I'll leave you to it. There's no use to, oh, talking to you when you're like this, is there? No, I don't think so. Well, is there more? I don't think I can sneak through anywhere. Um, yeah, no. Well, it was nice seeing you, Aiden. I'm sorry that you're now like an animalistic creature. And I'm glad that the blood was explained. I think that's everyone. Let's see if we can go through. Oh, awesome. Wait, gallery? I bet that'll be th something that we uh, unlock periodically. It seems to be open. Can't wander around too much, though. Okay. Wait, what? Did we just go into someone else's house? That seems a little inappropriate. What the fuck is going on right now? This one's dead. Is that you? Or is that copy of me? What is happening? The drawers are empty. I mean, I figured it was a double-sided window. Can we save them? Or are they long dead? It looks like they've been long dead. I guess we'll just leave them alone. Are we like limp? Wait, what? Are we like limited on the number of the things that we can go through? Oh. The camera is not working properly. Go through there. We can't go through here. Cat photos hang on the wall. This song seems like super familiar. Initiating eye scan. Eye scan successful. Where are we going? And why? Aren't you late for school? Oh, that's right. We're probably going to school. Nah, I'm coming just in time for lunch. Hey, I have something for you. I give the gummy ears to the elevator. Thank you very much. Where do you want to go? We bar... We're bribing an inanimate object with human food that contains and tastes like serum. Okay. To second floor, please. Of course. We are friends with the elevator. Why is it bloody? Destination reached. Huh. If I remember correctly, you can enter first floor through this shaft without having to use the elevators. And we'll do that later. Got some nice high quality uh, flower statues here on these streets. It's good to see. Oh, join white society. I put these posters up myself. Charlotte, why are you putting up so many posters on everywhere? I am the Daily Wisdom Machine. Insert a coin to play. New quotes every day. Feel free to send us your comments and suggestions. Please stop sending us the complaints about getting repeating messages. I'll burn your house down is not an acceptable comp or complaint and will never... Owen will be overlooked. Sure. The ones in power will always invent their parents.
Well, this is going well so far. Is that God? Why is he being beaten? Stop it. Oh, someone's having a hard time. But it's none of my business, is it? Oh, wait. Let me snap a photo. Kachink. And done. What? Stop it. Stop it. What? We just... What? Why? No more business here. What? Save him! Why are you not gonna save your friend? I thought he was our friend. Oh no. Charlotte, what the hell happened? Am I forgetting something important? The school janitors clean these up every day. All right. Not everyone survives the fall. Huh. This doesn't seem like a very happy school. The school janitors, okay, whatever. Just keep going. I like how we're coming to school just in time for lunch. Garden? Hello. Hello. Infirmary? The door leads to the infirmary, but we don't care about it. Sigh. I can't get him to understand me at all. Maybe you should try using Link. What's that? Well, it's a drug that connects minds. Neat, huh? Sigh. I can't get him to understand me. Oh, wait. Nope. We've already just read this. Okay. The billboard has various information leaflets pinned on it. Okay. Beware of the white flu. It may be contagious. Nobody knows for sure. Feeding stray animals on school grounds is strictly forbidden. I think that's a reference to the last game, because we did that. Join white society. Become superior to your neighbor and your dog. This door leads to the principal room. But we don't care. How's your day? Oh, how's your day? And neither of us answered. Oh, nice. Hey, our friend, I remember this. Lot? Oh, hi. I knew you'd come, so I bought us lunch. Just how you like it, lactose-free. Ah, how kind of you. Do you want to join me or what? If, if that's okay with you. Sure, I don't mind. Let's go to the rooftop. Our friends must be waiting, aren't they? Ah. Uh, will they be joining us today, too? <laughs> of course they will. Food tastes better in company, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. She wants some alone time with Charlotte. I remember the last game. What's up with this tweaker? You see that guy? You probably don't because it's paused. Now you probably do. Look at that guy on the left. Seems like he's having a bit of a uh, issue there. Please connect with me. I'm so lonely. Ugh, get off me. Wow. Long live white society. Wow, his brains are melting. Must be a link overdose. This door leads to the canteen. Okay, beware of the white flu. Signs that you're sick. You have lost your color. You don't respond to any stimuli. You can't read this message. <laughs> Pretty useless list of symptoms if you can't read it, eh? It's my classroom. But we don't care. Are we... Oh, yeah, we're going to the rooftop. That's right. The clock stopped a long time ago. It's 10.30 a.m. Good day, Miss Wiltshire. Good day. Library? Nothing to do there. Oh. Hold on. We have to know what room it is first. Rooftop. Let's explore just a little bit more. Restroom? White society room? White society meetings are held behind this door. I guess there's no meetings. 
The library is the best place to link, in my humble opinion. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. I didn't know we had friends. Hello, friends. Slept well, lot? Hmm, I did. What was her name again? Hey. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. Good day, Miss Wiltshire. I don't know if you noticed, but you have a giant bee in your face. Henri, say hi to. Ah, uh, hello. Oh, is that what I think it is? Miss Warhol is so considerate, buying you a meal. Why didn't she buy some for us, too? Because I'm special. Ah, uh, I... Ah, uh, she didn't know you'd be joining in. Even though we eat together all the time. How rude. You're not part of the one true pairing. Get the fuck out of here. She won't forget it next time. Right, Henri? Right. See? Hee <laughs> hee. Huh. Suddenly we hear the click of the door lock. Is this a sensei? Well, Chire. Skipping lessons again, huh? Oh no, it's her. Ah, uh, the killjoy's here. Gloomy as always. Hey, let's be quiet. You all know the rooftop's off limits, right? It's not the first time I've caught you here. We're so, so, so sorry, Miss Class Rep. Oh, it's just a class rep, who cares? An apology won't cut it. We promise we won't do it again? Then get off the rooftop now or I'm calling the teachers. Teachers, she says. Tell her lot. Nat, let her be. It's more fun this way. Scarlet's expression softens a little when she looks at Audrey. Do you really need to be around them, Miss Warhol? You're better off without these lowlifes around. What are you talking about, Miss Eiler? They're my friends. As you say. Now then, leave immediately. I won't be repeating myself twice. The class rep favors you, huh, Henri? Well, our little Miss Warhol here is famous for being the teacher's pet. Wait, was that the teacher or the class rep? I thought it said class rep. No, yeah, she said she was going to get the teacher, so that must have been the class rep. It's a little hard to tell, because they look kind of like a teacher. <laughs> right, girl B? Yeah, right. Everyone's getting along. Thinking back, when did I meet Henri? Ah, right. It was back then, when her skirt got stolen from her locker during P.E. class. By the girl sitting right there. Oh, right here, no less. She had nothing to change to into so she had to wear her track shorts all day. Everyone was laughing at her, seeing how helpless and embarrassed she was. I felt nothing, and I didn't do anything. I left her alone, and now she's nothing more than an errand girl buying us coffee. That's all there is to it. What? Are you coming to class? Go on without me, all right? I have club activities today. All right. Oh, is it a club? Okay, now that makes a little bit more sense. That the white society would be a club. See you soon. S see you. I always look forward to your performances. Aw, oh, thanks. What a liar. Just say you like being around me because I'm popular. See you later. Well, onwards, I guess. Are we just gonna go directly to the White Society room? Oh, God. Fancy meeting you here. There goes our pro profound bond. She just walked by. Um, do I know you? How cold. Nothing in the world can define me, but you can call me C. Oh, that's right. Ring a bell? Oh! 
Charles. Got yourself a new vessel. Wait. Now I've seen this one but somewhere. Near that alleyway. Bingo. Picked it up on my way here. Now I can blend in with the rest of the students. Rather convenient, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. You avoided school grounds like the plague until today. Haha, <laughs> I suppose. I really do feel more at ease in this vessel. Yeah, sure, but you're happy you got yourself a new meat suit. Is that how little you think of me? My only intention is to keep him safe. If that's true, I think I saw him without his head earlier. Don't think that really uh, falls under that. Right, right. You care. It's your thing. In any case, I have things to do. No time for idle talk. Well then, don't be late for class. No need. I'm skipping. You should join me in the... Was sock. Meeting next time. It'll be fun. I highly doubt it. But thank you for the invitation, nonetheless. Hmm. You do you. See you later, C. That's right, it was C. I thought his name was God. I forgot. Okay, well this was the room, right? Greetings, friends. Welcome to our weekly white society meeting. What is our motto? Stay safe, stay clean, stay white. What is our goal? To ascend. That's the spirit. You all worked hard and submitted new names to the blacklist this week. Well done, everyone. As you all know, the process of blacklisting is the following. One, find the tainted. Two, submit their information to our website. And three, vote. The person who gets the most votes gets punished. Easy as that. That being said, I want you all to decide on the special guest for today's execution hour. Vote. Vote for those who wronged you. Vote for those who upset you. Vote for those who hurt you. We shall hurt them thousand times more. Three. Two. One. With this, the voting is over. Thank you for your input. Let's stay white together. Well, uh, time to get ready for the show. This program is supported by the White Society. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our daily program. The Execution Hour. Meet Girl B. No, I like Girl B! Oh, that was my favorite character so far. Meet Girl B for today's show only. She'll be the privilege of having a face. You must be wondering, who the hell is this? This is the first time I've ever seen this character. How the hell am I supposed to sympathize? And you're absolutely, totally right. Because this is a total stranger. But, if I told you she did bad things, you'll believe me, right? If I told you to avoid her, you'd believe me, right? Nobody cares enough to check the facts anyway. That's why we're here right now. Anyhow... She was chosen by... to be the guest in this week's episode by you, dear friends. Today, we'll be baking cookies. 
Hush, we're on TV. Manners, remember? First, you take a handful of butter and smash it into the bowl. Smash it. Come on, put more force into it. Don't be a wimp. Then you put it in a handful of flour. Like, come on. No, no, don't cry. Look, it's right before your eyes. Look, the flower. See, you did it. Here, I'll help you mix in the sugar. Keep mixing. Keep mixing. You know, this person may look meek, but they actually support offensive behavior. Come on. Show them the drawing. Here it is. No one in their right mind would draw that right. Therefore, they must be punished. That's why we'll add a special ingredient. I wonder what it is. Quiz time. Let's vote, everyone. What is the special ingredient? What? Oh, do I get a saver? Make it raisins. Results time. Applause! Most of you guessed right. It was Clorox. No, don't do that. Now we'll have our guest taste the cookie dough. Let me go! The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, gosh. Mind your language. We're PG rated. Well, I'll pretend we didn't hear it, right, friends? Okay, I'm pretending. Our friend here seems to have trouble eating, so I shall pour the mass right into their mouth. Wow, sure looks tasty. Yum. Now then, you need to preheat the oven to 180 Celsius. Oh my god. <laughs> Charlotte, what the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> but since we don't have an oven, we can use our guest body as a substitute. Here we go! This concludes our show! Stay white with us! Join white society! Destination reached. What? 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 We're in the elevator again? What? Oh, we're home. Charlie, you're a little bit different than I remember you. What are we done for today? We murdered a poor innocent human being by pouring a bunch of... Clorox-filled cookie dough into her body... And then using a flamethrower, we cooked the cookie dough inside of her until she died and became a mangled, burned corpse. Wow, that's so dark. God. What, can we go somewhere else? No? Okay. Well, I guess we're, we're being given a choice to return home, and the uh, choice that you can make is yes. Nice. I'm too worn out to wander around. Oh. Well, alright then. Are you gonna have like a snack or something? Alright, I guess we're not gonna eat anything. Do we have to use the bathroom? Visit the boiler room? We're literally just going to fry someone alive and then go back to bed. Is there something different on TV? Nope, it's the same stuff. I'm too sleepy to bother Aiden. 
Well then, I guess we're just done for today. I mean, I guess it was a busy day. All right, well, time for bed. God, I'm tired. Let's call it a day and get some rest. Good night, me. You did well today. The god of this world told me a story. About a girl who was the heroine of her own story. About a girl who was bestowed with a gift that could grant a single wish. However, were her wish to come true, she would die shortly after. That's the kind of gift it was. The girl wished for everyone to be happy. It was a kind, simple wish full of hope. But all it did was destroy individuality itself. Because she couldn't define the meaning of happiness. In another timeline, the girl wished for the e world to end. It was a desperate, messy wish full of despair. But all it did was destroy only a fraction of the world. Because she couldn't grasp how big it was. You too can get your wish granted said the god of this world. Because you too are the heroine of your story. There's skill today too, huh? Yeah, funny. Seems like it's almost every day of the week. I'm not in a hurry though, so I can wander around a bit. 